right, ready? <laughs> yeah, I've already started. Okay, hi everyone. Hi. Welcome to clue four of our mystery knit along. Yeah, almost getting there. Oh my gosh. You're yeah. you're well well over halfway. Yeah. And by now, you have um, if you're fingering weight, you've ran out of your first skein of yarn. Most yeah. most More likely. More than likely. Do not worry. I still had a few people messaging me last week that they were worried. It's, nope. You're perfect. Yeah. You're on track. Yeah. And um, let me tell you that we've got you covered. I think there's not going to be one person that has any issue with running out of yarn. Yeah. With the way that it all ends. I just like to push it. Sarah loves to, to push the it. extreme. Sarah loves to push up, but I, I think you're, everyone's going to be okay. Yeah. And I'm loving all the clue threes. Yeah. They were so fun to see. Yeah. Yay. And I love the like chatter about what's going to happen next and yeah. where you guys all think this is going. So clue four. Here we go. We're going to talk about it. So if you don't want to hear anything about clue four, maybe don't even Maybe watch. just go to the pattern first. Yeah. Because we're going to have a little chat about it. It's going to give a little bit of detail about what's going on and it will give away a little bit a thing so and then we'll show it at the end of course and then there is a tutorial so if you're before we say anything else if you are looking for the tutorial it, for the section called katie throwback you go ahead and watch the tutorial because that will um that will explain that stitch yeah but you also may be fine just to do it our testers who hadn't done that yeah. stitch made it just fine without a video or maybe you'll read it and go oh I've done that. I've done that already before. Huh. Because we're like, oh, we could have had one of those. We don't have one here. Oh, no. Yeah, that would have been. That's what we're talking about. Oh, right. We don't have Shoot, one. Shoot, guys. Katie, we forgot to tell you to bring your Katie shawl. You still have one. Yeah. Don't I you have your two. navy one? You have two. Oh, you have two of them. I think. Oh, darn no, it. No, you have a Katie shawl and a Katie goes loopy. Don't you? Do you still have two Katie shawls? I thought I did. Okay, well. Anywho, spoiler. Yeah, spoiler the Katie stitch. So we are throwing it back to um, two things today. Yeah. Then we're throwing it back to our very first mystery knit along that we did. Yeah. That we knit. We didn't even know that it was a thing. We so had no idea. Like, yeah. We cast it on. Are we talking about it now? Yeah. Well, we had just started podcasting. Yeah. Um. This is now five years ago and didn't we been... cast it on on the way to the show in edmonton the... no it was already knit by then we cast it on earlier than that it wasn't knit we were knitting it we, on no, the way yeah, yeah yeah we were knitting on the way but i don't okay. think we cast it on i think it, we were already well into maybe like clue one or two well into clue one or two yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we are talking about the starting, starting point. point by hohi locatelli Quite a few of you noticed that I'd been wearing this over the last few yeah. videos here and actually was like, oh, is that a clue? But then we did this one and we were and like, hey, that was fun. Yeah, it was like, so much let's fun. do something like that. And wasn't it that next, like that, that next December? Year. Yeah. Like that same year I started designing the yeah. My Sister Shawl. Exactly. So this was the starting point. If you've never done it or never seen it, this is a great knit. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. This is like a five-year-old shawl. I love this. I wear it every winter. Yeah. And this um, dyer, she does not dye anymore at all, I don't think. First, she was... Oh, she was Haven. Haven Fiber. And then she went to Midnight, Midnight Maker. Maker. And so I'm not sure I, if she's still dyeing yarn. And mine was... It was blue and green. There's, I think there's a picture. Cravings. Mine was Midnight Cravings. Yeah. The picture of Sarah's is in the clue. So you'll yeah. see it. You'll see it in the clue. So this was like... We were just getting into hand dyed yarn and like finding patterns on Ravelry and realizing and that there's. And then we decided to do a like mystery knit along. We what were barely that? designing. No, we, yeah, we were barely into like design a, hand dyed yarn. Design a mystery knit along. Yeah, so this is what Make we did. Make it super technical. Yeah, so then we then we designed. That's right. Then we designed the My Sister Shawl, which yeah. is our very first mystery knit along. And those both play into our sort of design and yeah. how clue four is going to begin and we won't tell you anymore yeah so for this clue you will need um your next set of needles yeah and then like if you've got the interchangeables you don't have to get a whole new cord and needles you can just take your needles off and put end caps end on caps, yeah. you really only need one set of tips throughout this whole thing but you can get away with one, if you've yeah. got other needles i just yeah, set, I don't, like, yeah, I personally don't like putting things on waste yarn because I don't like picking up the stitches. But if you've got I'd an extra leave them. cord, yeah, leave you them just on your twist cord. your needles off and put yeah. your end caps on. Exactly. So you will need to do that this, this for this clue, but it is different. I do want to have a little throwback to some of the 
flack we got from our very first, want to talk about it? From our very first M count? What was our flack? Oh, count? we got, oh! oh, number one, we got yeah. flack about Lacey's eggs because yes. it was a pretty technical lace pattern. And yeah. so if you've been around since then, you'll, you'll, you can laugh along You're with probably us. chuckling. Yeah. We've talked about Lacey's eggs and people have given us flack about that. Yeah. Second. Guys, I love lace. I just. I know. I, I like it. <laughs> then we got, we got some flack for the technical cast on. Yes, that was It was, was pretty technical and... The tutorial was pretty good for that. It was. It was good. And it's a fun knit. So this is my sister shawl, which is, if you are interested... Yeah. Uh, and if you're feeling, um, if you're a beginner and feeling like gutsy and like, oh, I could do some technical things yeah. and you haven't knit it... It's fun. It... I really liked it. It's challenging, but you can do it. Yeah. You can do it. Push it yourself. It will definitely challenge yeah. you so since then we've been like a little bit hesitant to like put anything too technical in yeah although we seem to be getting a little bit of flack for this year's um clue one like the ribbing the ribbed um, oh lace. my ribbed lace yeah which it's so hey, much fun it's beautiful and guess i can't what? you can't give me flack for that if you've again. done lacy's eggs <laughs> oh yeah that too <laughs> guess what clue four bam yeah welcome but it is different because the other thing we got flack for was in our mystery knit along for the sister oh, shawl. Oh, my sister shawl, yeah. You knit half of it, and then you cast on again and knit the other half. And, and do it the was exact symmetrical. same thing. It was yeah. the exact same thing. It was the exact thing. same thing. So oh, no, I had the... No. It was the exact same. Was it? Why did I put this in my mouth while we're doing oh, this? Oh, I was... Okay. I seen you... I, I don't know. Do it was just a habit. I'm taking it out. I'm sorry. Jeez. No, because you, you picked up that. You did cast on again in the middle, and you knit back down. I think maybe oh, the decreases yeah. went the other way. Well, the decreases the went end. the other way. But it was the same. So we're like, oh, it's right. too symmetrical. Like, it's not a mystery, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So guess what, people? Clue four, it is not. It is not. You can just see. Go ahead and read. You think it's the same, but it is not the same, people. Anyway, you're going to love it. Yeah. It's such a pretty finale. Yeah, I'm, I'm very... Yeah. So there's a little bit of kind of history on... Our design process yeah. for this one and then we had to throw in the katie throwback yeah and you know what like i have to say besides the my sister shawl like the katie it's one of our most popular it is knits. it is our most if you have to say no it is Ravelry, our most popular it's yes. our most popular shawl and like yeah. our feedback on that one was just yeah i mean it's so a great good. it's just a if great, you haven't knit it i highly recommend it yeah. it's, it's like fun. the perfect knit it yeah. is it's e yeah. it's got a little interest you're going to learn a new stitch but then you're going to get to do garter island yeah and forever <laughs> and if you have knit that and liked it i did do a 2.0 which was called katie goes loopy katie and goes that one's loopy. fun too it that one's fun. that one's nice too it's, yeah. it's similar i did uh the garter island at the beginning so yeah. you don't get stuck with like 200 stitches just going back and forth and back and forth and yeah. back and forth and back and forth and back and forth you do it all. At the you beginning. can do it all at the beginning. Get your garter island done. Get her done. Get her garter done. Island. Garter island. Garter island. So, yeah, we threw back to that as well. So the Katie throwback, and then a little bit of chat about you know how it came to be, and mm -hmm. oh, this was a good. This them's were the good old days. Them were the days. This was such a fun. Just the even like thought of a mystery knit along. Yeah. It was scary to do our first one. Oh yeah, it was it very was the stressful. most scary thing we've ever done. Yeah. It was just so stressful. And now we're on five, which is Even kind of mostly cool. for you. Like, mostly for you. It was very scary. I didn't really know how it all worked and, like, putting things we up on We didn't know what we were and, doing. Like, oh, it stretched us. And you still get like that, though. I do. Oh, my gosh. Before a mystery knit along, I start freaking out She starts out a little freaking bit. out usually, like, beginning of December. Yeah. You start stressing. Oh, I do. I and I'm totally like. Totally stressed. It's, it's like people are trusting us and not seeing what it is, I guess, yeah. what it is. And it's like, but that's the part, that's the fun part of it. Like, I, I mean, for me, like I have done a mystery knit along as a mystery, but I like with the Stephen West, I waited I till the star flake was done before I decided oh, yeah. doing and it. I like a mystery. And for the one we just did. Yeah. You're still doing it. I'm, well, yeah, I'm still doing it. But I'm I sitting looked, here casting on and she's watching the video. And, and then like, oh, I yeah, did. I'm so once I it. seen clue one, I was like, okay, I know I'm going to like this. Yeah. I know it's going to be technical enough for me. Yeah. And actually there's a lot of people that have, and are just starting this right now. They watched one. clue one, clue two, clue three yes. come out. And now we're going to throw a wrench in it. Just there we kidding. go. We thought um, you knew what, what, what was coming. If no, you're I'm just, just starting or still deciding and are a quick knitter, you can still make it. You still have three weeks to complete it yeah. technically. Because we're doing prizes. clue four, then we do clue five, yeah. and then you are you get an entry. And then you have a whole another week. We give a whole another week yeah, and do and a we second do one round. one round of prizes. Yeah. So, I mean, you've even got that extra week. Yeah. And I'd say 
It's definitely doable. Oh, it's definitely doable. I did one in how many days did that take me? Um, it took me a week. It took you a week. It was about a week that it took me to well, do my second one. You know who one. did hers pretty much in a week too? Who? Oh yeah, she was Ooh, quick. She's fast. She was super quick. Yeah, she's so, fast. Anyway, take a look at Clue Four. I'm very excited. I think we maybe start a little comment about what you think's coming. Yeah, yeah. What do you think fun. is going to happen? Yeah. How do you think it's going to all come together after yeah. Clue Four? Because you're probably wrong. Probably. I'd say so. Like a lot of I'm our testers kidding. are going, is it this? Is it this? We're like, oh, are we going to sew these pieces? Listen, we're going to tell you one thing. Okay. Here's your one thing. Here's what we got flack for. Let's talk about <laughs> flack from another one. Do you have it today? I do. Okay. So two years ago, we did Up Guys, the Creek. I like tedious things. Sarah like made mattress you stitch. mattress stitch your pieces together. Guess what? There's no sewing. Together. Except for your ends. That's all you have you to sew. sew in your ends. That's all you'll be sewing. So there's your hint. And yeah. You're, there's no sewing pieces. No. So don't even but get stressed But this one though. is. So this is up the creek. This yeah, two the years creek. ago. Oh, it's such a fun little This was three show. triangles. And then you So it was like clue one, clue two, <laughs> clue three. Right? Is that how it went? And then clue four was sewing it together. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, guys, but if you're still sitting on this, your three it's pieces. It's really, just do it. Just do it. Just whip stitch it together. I say just do it when I'm like, oh, just send it to Sarah. I probably Also, this you up for could you. make little bandana. You can make, you can make, um, oh, little yeah. cowls. Uh, quite a few ladies made, like, in, and Katie, Katie made little cowls for her daughter or for yourself. Yes. You can tassel them. Yeah. So anyway, there's your hint. We took a we took a clue from yeah. you guys and your feedback from this one. We, we did not make you sew it together. it together. So there's nothing. You're going to love how yeah. it comes together. Trust us. Just trust us. It is going to be fab. Fab. Okay, so that's it. Kate. We are going to now jump to spoiler. the Katie. No, we're jump to the Katie tutorial. The Katie stitch tutorial. Oh, yeah, but it will still be like oh, yeah. if you don't want to see the video. That's right. From here on out, it's spoiler. Oh, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll see you'll clue see four. It. Yeah. And then we're going to come back and we're going to show you the entirety of Clue 4. Actually, it's not in the entirety because I cheated. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that. Often. Yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> you'll, you'll, get the, you'll get the hint when we come yeah. right back. Okay, yeah. we'll be right back. So here we are, section 8, which is, as you can see, the Katie throwback. Because <laughs> this, I love this stitch. I loved knitting that design. Okay, so I'm going to show you rows 3 and 4, which is worked with your CCs. Um, okay, so first we're gonna slip one with yarn in front, and then we are going to. And of course, oh, I'm yeah. I'm holding mine with my... <laughs> <laughs> disregard all of the things. <laughs> um, so we are going to knit two together. Okay, now here we go into the repeat, which is slip one with yarn in back, knit seven. One, four. Six. Show the slip one with the yarn back slower. The Seven. Next. And then again, we're going to slip, just taking the stitch off, slipping with the yarn in back, which it's already at the back. So we're going to slip that stitch with yarn in back. Now we are going to double knit five, which is worked over the next five stitches. We are going to knit each, excuse me, each stitch wrapping the working yarn twice. So we are going to wrap it once and wrap it around again, bringing it through. So you've got two stitches on per each knit. So again, wrapping it once, wrapping it twice for two, once, twice, that's three, wrapping it twice, four, and wrapping it twice for five. So now these five stitches all have two loops per one stitch. Um, and we're just gonna repeat that. So now we're gonna slip on and knit seven, and we're gonna repeat that across the last three stitches and well that's for the I will this is for DK oh this is for DK so your repeat might be a little different but the inside the star yeah you know it's slip with yarn and back knit seven slip with yarn and back double knit five repeat yep um so I'm going to get across my row and I will show you how to work the row back okay so now working row four um so we're going to work over all these double stitches so first we're going to slip with yarn in front then we are going to knit two and now with this same slip stitch, we are going to slip with yarn in front. So we're actually gonna move our yarn to the front and slip that stitch, because we want these floats on the wrong side of our work. And 
Okay, now we're going to eyeball, which is slip five stitches to right hand needle, dropping the extra loops. Um, and then we're gonna slip them back and purl yarn over purl, yarn over purl, into all five stitches together. And I'll show you all that. So, okay, so slipping five stitches to right hand needle, dropping the extra loop. So all that is is just taking one and dropping that extra loop. So it's just kind of unraveling. So we'll have five long stitches um, there, and I'll show that again. Um, okay, so slip these stitches back to the left-hand needle. So we're gonna scoop them all up. You could do that one at a time, but they're pretty loose, so it's easy to grab them all. And we are going to purl, yarn over, purl, yarn over, purl, all into all five stitches together, work, working them as one stitch. So we are going to purl, and make sure you get through, right? All the stitches. All five stitches, yep. Yeah. Then we are going to yarn over, purl, oops, and then we're going to yarn over, purl, so that's one, two, three. No, that should be five. They're in there, they're just all. No. Oh, are they? Yep. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, you're right, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm doing it slow and then I keep forgetting my count. All right, so working them as one stitch. So now we're gonna slide that off. And when I, I'll show that whole section, that whole part again, and then I'll show how to work this kind of clump of stitches once we get back. So again, slip with yarn in front. Oh, and then we're going to knit our seven stitches in between. helps if you don't have the mohair when you're doing all the the clump but so sorry about Six, that seven oh it's gonna be great with mohair i, I had think. to hold mohair all right so we're gonna slip with yarn in front and then we are gonna uh slip all five stitches over to our right hand needle dropping the extra loop so it's one two three four and five and then we're gonna place them all back onto our left hand needle Wait, and you know that you can just leave your needle? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. I just took it out the first time oh, yeah, to okay. show that that's a separate Bossy thing. Big sister. And then now we're going to purl them all together. So purl, <laughs> yarn over, purl, oh, mohair. I'm just kidding. Yarn over, purl, all into the same five stitches as one making kind of a little clump on your needle, which I, again, uh, in the next little bit, I'll show you how to do that. And I'll show you guys that one more time. So we're gonna slip the next stitch with yarn in front, knit seven. And again, slip with yarn in front, slipping the next five stitches off to your right needle, dropping that extra loop, placing them back onto the left hand needle, which like Jamie said, you can just then leave your front needle in or else you take it out and then purl all five together, just making sure you grab all those loops. And we're going to purl, yarn over, purl, yarn over, Curl. Gets a little tight, but gets a little tight, but you just kind of you can always see I'm kind of wiggling my needles around just to kind of get some extra slack in there. And I will now show you how to work these eyeball stitches. Here we go. You're on. Okay, so real quick, uh, we're going to row five, which is just a uh, slip with yarn in front, knit two together, knit the last two stitches, knit front back, knit one. But you are going to be working over those clumps of the uh, uh, eyeball stitch. So we're going to slip with yarn in front. And we are going to, sorry, whoops, we're going to knit two together. With your main, oh yeah. Yep, sorry. <laughs> hey, like, <laughs> come on, I know what I'm doing big here. Big sister is being too bossy right now. Okay, knit I'm going to stop together. talking. Um, okay, and then knit to last two stitches. All right, so let's work across till we hit one of those eyeballs. And this will be super fun to show you on this color of yarn. But that's okay. Yes. With the mohair, so but that's sorry. okay. Um, there is actually another tutorial on our channel. Um, it's the Katie 
Yeah, the Katie Shawl. The Katie Shawl tutorial, and that also shows us as well. All right, so we're to our first clump of five. So if you kind of spread your stitches apart, one, two, three, four, five. I tend to just kind of try to spread them out a little bit before I start knitting them. Um, and then you're just knitting. And them. then you're just knitting them. Right. Okay. Um, you just might get like where a couple are stacked on top of each other. Um, the order at which you knit them, like if the yarn over flips to the wrong side of that, maybe that the the stitch, it's not the worst thing in the world. It will um, you won't really notice if a stitch is out of order. Um, so let's just get to another one here. So it's just a matter of spreading those stitches out, knitting them all separately and kind of making sure that you're not dropping any of them. There's five. There's five of them every time. So again, I tend to just take my time, like spread out my five and then just do these knits a little slower because you don't want to pull this off and have the whole eyeball fall off. So there's two, but I mean, it's really not too difficult. It's just a little, um, not tedious, but um, not a little tedious. You got to spread the stitches out. I'll do one more here. Do, 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 <laughs> right? Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, here we go. So again, just taking your time making sure all five stitches are there for me, making sure I grab that mohair as well. Thanks, Jamie. No, sorry. just kidding. I'm totally kidding. I sorry, love it sorry. with the mohair. <laughs> if I've got an opportunity to hold mohair, it's just it's happening. It's got to happen. Totally. I, I agree. There's something about it. So, and then once you are done the row, you can kind of even them out a little bit if you find them a little off. Oh, they look so good. Yep. Yeah. So there it is. Okay, welcome back. Here we are. Yep. So you're gonna see clue four. We'll show you mine that I'm currently knitting, and then we'll we'll show can you, we show you the all other... of our. I think we can peek. I think we can, can show you some peeks. peeks. Yeah. So remember that. So here it is. Remember that I'm not following pattern with this. I know we've said that lots of times. Yeah. Um, but this is clue four, except I have shorted myself because my yarn is so big, and this is getting and to be it's gigantic. Very. It's gonna be very. Yeah. It's gonna big. be bigger than. So I actually only did one repeat of this, but here's clue four. Let's just show you this and then we'll talk a little bit about it. So there's your Katie throwback. Yeah. Love that section. I love that stitch. And there is your, um, diagonals. your diagonals in the short form. So we've got everything that's sort of, you know, just kind of crunched. Yep. Yeah. And even so, in the fingering version, it's just kind of yeah. crunching everything. So just remember too, yeah, that this is following the DK version. We'll show you some fingering ones. And if you absolutely did not like this first section, do the repeat once, and then you can just double up. You could double up this yeah, section here. Yeah, just do here, the eyelet like twice. The, yeah, just do the eyelet section yeah. twice. Go ahead and start hacking. Yeah, hack the patterns. Hack them. It's not going to affect, obviously, you know, right by now that your stitch count isn't changing here. So go ahead and throw this in again. Yeah. If once is enough for you. Yeah. Um, but the real pattern does have it twice, just like clue one, but it is on the opposite bias. Yeah. If you notice. So you're going the other yep. way now. So your increases and decreases have swapped and you are now going the other direction. Yeah. Okay. So that is clue for, it was fun. Yeah. And I did that in a couple nights. So yeah, it's not too it's bad. It's not too bad. It's, it's and a I mean, bit more knitting. It is more knitting than clue two and three. It's back to like the amount of knitting that was in clue one. Clue one. It, a little less. Yeah. So where do we want to go? This one? Yeah. Okay. okay. So here is, this is the original design. And this is done out of the, who, who where's this? This is uh, the creative, creative knitter. knitter. There it is. There's the Katie. Yeah. And you guys have all seen the diagonals. And then the diagonal. So there's her. So see yeah. how it's got the two repeats? Yeah. It's so pretty. But yeah, you could you could do this eyelet section just like yeah, if you once want to more, sort of whatever. It. But oh, do them twice if if you can. I just love that. Do them twice if you can. I yeah. would have done them. I just know that because my yarn is so so and big. My purple one. Oh, the purple one is so pretty. This is out of my single ply. Yeah, this was just kind of her second like get her done kind of and just fit, hammer out some details. Yeah. So there's my oh, second I love one. Oh, purples. Yeah. It's 
So there it is. Yeah, and there's the... <gasps> we'll be able to hold up the whole <gasps> thing next week. Can you believe it's done? I, I can't. can't even believe it. Okay, now for my pink one. Actually, it was kind of fun because when we knit this gray one, Sarah actually knit this entire clue. She yeah, I did. Home because she had to hammer out some things. I needed with numbers DK. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. so and I just did it. So I didn't get to knit it. So now I did. And there it is. You want to do it? And I'll just watch that. Oh, yeah. So there's the two, Katie. So here's what yours will be like. And there's the Katie stitch yeah. and the diagonals. And the diagonals. So there it is, you guys. That's fun. I can't even believe it. One more week. Yeah. Okay. That's exciting. It's very exciting. So I think, so after next week, once we put the clue up, I will open up a finished objects thread mm -hmm. in Ravelry. And I will include in the pattern a new finished objects hashtag so that we can draw just from finished objects as well as the previous. Like we do like to draw from chatter and from FO, yeah. depending on our prizes and stuff. So I will open up a new finished objects hashtag. So if you are only using Instagram, you'll need to use the new hashtag and that will come next week in clue five. Yeah. That is it. That's fun. Happy knitting this week, you guys. Yay. And we'll see you next week for the final clue. Bye. Bye. Bye.